Hey guys, I'm Mike and this is Carter. Can say hi Carter? Hi. Carter was born without his right hand and we had some problems when it came to riding a bike. So what we did is we built an adapter that attaches to his handlebar uh, that makes it easier for her for him to reach it on the right side. Uh, we're going to show you how we did that and what, what parts we used. Uh, first, we're going to take a 2 inch by 3 quarter inch thread bushing adapter. Now it's two inch on the outside here, and then three quarter inch here where it's threaded. Next, we're going to take a three quarter inch by one and three eighths inch threaded male PVC pipe. Now this comes in a variety of dis different sizes, and uh, based on your need, uh, you can go much much longer than this. This is what Carter needs. From there, we're going to go to a one and a half inch to three quarter inch threaded bushing reducer. So we have one half inch threaded on the outside and then three quarter inch threaded on the inside. And then for the final piece of PVC, we have a two inch by one and a half inch threaded PVC coupler. Now the inside here, the one and a half inch is threaded. On the two inch side, there are no threads. So what we have to do before we put this together is we have to get a measurement of how wide the handlebar itself is because we need to cut a groove so it will sit flush on the handlebar. So what I did is I just took the handlebar and I do it on the grip part because it's less likely to slide and move around on them if it if it's, has that grip. So what I did is I just held it up to the handlebar like this just kind of marked on that side there and then on that side there and then back here so you kind of see a couple marks there maybe so I'm gonna put it on here just for the sake of being able to show you exactly what I'm doing and now Carter has to get back so he's gonna play with some power tools okay okay Okay, yeah, we're gonna play with it. I'm, I'm gonna play with it, okay? Alright, here we go. I was just teasing. I was going to work with it. Yeah. So all we did here was just cut a little groove in the side, and then we're going to do the same thing for the opposite side. Do it. Now it doesn't have to be perfect, you just want it to be able to sit a little bit nicer on the handlebar. So there we have that. Now what we need to do is we need to cut a slot in this side and then a slot in this side because we need to put this metal bracket through it to hook to the handlebar. So for that what I'm going to use this here is a, um, a drum sander attached to a Dremel. It does a really, really good job of eating through the PVC to make that groove. Uh, for the slot that we're going to use, um, we're going to use a high-speed cutter. It's not the best tool, um, but I really couldn't find anything else that would, would make the little uh, slot that we're going to need. And you can't use toys. can't use toys. Now for this, uh, we're going to go, these are the grooves we cut, so we're going to turn it, and on the opposite side of where the grooves are, we want to cut just a slot wide enough 
to slip the, the brace through. Alright, so I have it marked on that side there, and then on that side there. I don't think you can see it, but it's it's there. So now we're gonna take our cutting tool. Now this tool doesn't quite make it all the way through, uh, it's pretty close, and if I look on the inside, I can see where the, the cut is starting to come through, so I'm just going to finish the cut from the inside. So we have slots there, and then on the opposite side there that we're going to slide our brace through. Which, I don't know where the brace went, so I'm going to go find it, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we found our brace. This is just a uh, circular, I think it's called a pipe brace. Um, it's metal, and uh, it's, it works really well. So let's go ahead and slide that through the slots we just cut. You may need to open this one up just a little bit more. No, oh, there we go. Alright, does that look good, Carter? Yes. This can be kind of tricky to get through because that metal doesn't bend real easy. And, and, and we want it to be tight. So there we go. There's that. So now that we have that cutting done, what we do is we take our PVC pipe, the threaded pipe, and we screw that in. And then we take, I forget the name of these, this is the threaded bushing reducer. And we'll screw that on. And then we thread on our uh, threaded PVC coupler. And that's it. This is going to go around the handlebar there, and that's going to hold it, and then Carter's going to put his arm in there. Now one thing you have to keep in mind is, because this is so deep, Carter get, could get the majority of his arm down in there. Uh, that's not safe for him because if he falls off his bike, his arm could get caught in there. So what I did is I took uh, pieces of a mouse pad and I cut them up into circles and then I have a couple strips as well. So what we do to prevent Carter's arm from sliding all the way down is just put in these pieces of mouse pad. And it also um, it gives them some cushion. It's a little bit more comfortable for him. I like comfortable. You like comfortable? Yes. Everybody likes comfortable. But who does it? So you can see the mouse pad in there. And who I doesn't also like cut a, comfortable? I don't know who doesn't like comfortable. I also cut the strip so now it's padded around and then also on the inside. 
So that's it. I mean, that's that's the adapter. Um, this is the second one we've made. Uh, the first one here uh, has been working really well for Carter. So let's uh, we're gonna put it on his bike, and we'll show you how it turned out. All right. So you can see on Carter Carter on his bike. Can you lean forward? How he he has to hunch over like that. And if he wants to turn this way at all. He, did, he can't reach it, so that was no good. So this is this is the solution we came up with. All right. Oh, you gotta help me, Carter. And let me know what feels good for you. Okay. Put your arm in. Let's go down a little bit. How about like that? Does that feel good? Hey, it's working! That one's working, actually. Is it working good? Yes. Is it comfortable? The different one, yeah. And the different one is working. Okay, try it again. Make sure it's where you want it. It's where I want it. Okay, stay on there, bud. And that's, that's, um... No, let's turn it this way and show him. See, now we can reach, he has that range that he didn't have before. Turn this way. Is that good, bud? Mm-hmm. Hey, um, Dad. Hang on, let's finish up our video, okay? I, I want to, I want to practice on that one. Do you want to show him this one? Yeah. This is uh, another one I was playing around with. This one is obviously bigger that way and longer so this would be for um, a bigger person who doesn't have uh, the length that Carter has on his own. So this was the solution we came up with. We're really happy with it. Um, he's been riding his bike to the park and back, right? All by yourself. Um, and it, it was cheap. I mean it was, uh, it was under 20 bucks for all the parts. Uh, the Dremel tools, um, they're a little bit more expensive but the first one I made uh, I just used a grinder and a drill bit uh, for, the, for the notch and then the slit. Um, it wasn't pretty, but it, it worked. It did the job, and uh, Carter was no, able to use it. No it was pretty? Okay. It was pretty. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Um, pretty straightforward. Um, so hopefully, help you out. Have a good one. Hey, now we can have lunch.